Hi, I'm Adam Thomas from Trail Light Motorhomes and Caravans, and today we're going to have a really good look at this beautiful 758 Caterpillar. We're going to have a bit of a look inside, outside, and see what makes this motorhome different and why it could work for you. So the 758 Caterpillar is built on the 70C Iveco Daily. It's a 3-litre turbo diesel engine with around about 210 horsepower, so it's got plenty of get up and go to get you, your passengers, all of your gear and full tanks up even the steepest hills. This vehicle as well has dual rear wheel drive. It translates to better on and off road performance. This model specifically is also equipped with air suspension, which gives you a much more stable ride. And it also means that you can actually lift the rear of the vehicle up a few inches. So the first cupboard that we're coming across here is your LPG cupboard. Our vehicles are equipped with twin 9kg gas bottles. So that should run your fridge off grid and look after all of your cooking for quite some time. So trail light motorhomes come with a wind out warning as standard. However, you might want to consider the Savannah awning upgrade. This vehicle that we're looking at here has the Savannah awning. Now, what makes this awning different is that you have these vertical struts, and so the whole awning actually slides out completely. So what that means is it's a much, much stronger awning. Now, if you're gonna be off the grid for a wee while, you're gonna to need to take a bit of gear with you. So have a look in here, you can see this beautiful garage that we have, it's two and a half thousand liters in volume. And within it as well, uh, we have 12 volt power, we have 230 watt power. We've also got these two rails of clips, so you can secure your bikes or anything you don't want to move when you're on the go. So in terms of power solutions, the 758 Caterpillar certainly does not disappoint. As standard, they'll come with 540 watts of solar on top. Now, this cupboard here is what I like to call the look, don't touch cupboard, but come down here and have a look. Now, this unit specifically has been upgraded to have a 230 amp hour lithium battery, uh, and it's got 720 watts of solar on top. So. What that translates to is much more efficient charging uh, and much more use out of the batteries. So if you're going down to the beach for a bit of a swim and you don't want to hide your keys uh, in your shoes, every trail light comes standard with a keyless entry system, which means that you can unlock your trail light even if you don't have your keys on you. Follow me, we'll have a look inside. So the first thing you notice when you come into a trail light motorhome is the beautiful open plan design. So as you can see, we've got this beautiful lounge area here. We've got the television over the back there. We've got seating here for comfortably six people, even more if you cuddle up a little bit. And as you can see, we've got the windows open here today and it's getting a nice, beautiful breeze through. So the luxury continues into the front cab. So as you can see, I'm really comfortable here on our upgraded leather option. They swing around, so they're dual purpose. You can drive in them when you're parked up, flip them around, and you've got that extra seating space. So one of my favorite details about the Caterpillar is this kitchen. This is a big kitchen as far as motorhomes are concerned, and it is designed for everyday use. You've got a sink tucked away under here, and you've got plenty of storage, as you can see right up the top here. We've got soft close drawers. And now these drawers as well, as soon as you turn on the ignition, will automatically lock. The stove itself is a four burner gas cooktop, We've also got a separate grill and an oven here as well. So over on this side of the kitchen, you can see we've got a 190 liter three-way fridge. If you're staying at a friend's house and you're plugged into mains power, it will run off electricity. If you're driving along uh, on the road, it will run off your battery or alternator. And if you're off the beaten track and uh, off grid completely, it will run off gas and it will automatically select what power source is available. So we've got plenty of storage over this side as well. We've got storage up here, cupboards, anywhere where you can fit them. So when it comes to entertainment off grid in this Caterpillar, we've got a beautiful 27 inch smart television with separate soundbar. So what that means is you can stream all your favorite movies and TVs straight to your telly, just like you were at home. And if you feel like listening to some music, this vehicle is equipped with a Fusion sound system. So the entire motorhome is controlled through the C-Zone touchscreen control panel. And around the back, you've also got some USB points to keep your devices charged all day. But this motorhome has two separate living areas, the front and then the bedroom. So the bedroom sports a separate toilet and shower, which gives you heaps of privacy, plenty of room. And that toilet is a chemical toilet. So you've got a lot of storage in the bedroom here. You've got two hanging cupboards, top and bottom at the foot of this bed. And then on either side, you've got five drawers each. So in the bedroom, there's plenty of space to stretch out. 
you've got plenty of storage up the top here as well. Each bed has its own reading light. And then down here, we've got our wireless charge points and then some extra chargers inside the drawer tucked away at the back. So as you can see, this is an absolutely beautiful motorhome. Now this vehicle is equipped with 420 liters of fresh water. So if that doesn't mean too much to you, we tend to recommend around about 50 liters of water per couple per day. So for an average couple, you could quite comfortably be completely off the grid for around about nine days. So in terms of wastewater, this has a 305 liter gray tank. Now a gray tank is a tank that holds all of your wastewater from your kitchen and your shower. So having a tank that size means that you can really stretch between dump stations. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch our video today. Make sure you do come in to visit us at our yard in Christchurch or up at the factory in Auckland. If you are swinging by Auckland, make sure you book in a factory tour and we'd love to show you around.